I want to start doing a little vlog, mostly for myself, to just keep track of my progress and, you know, motivation and all that stuff. I just ran, I just did 4.2 miles in about 57 minutes, and it felt pretty good. Um, there's a lot of sweat in my eyes right now, and I got contacts in, and it hurts a lot. That's why I keep wiping my eyes, but... Um, uh, about 10 minutes ago, I finished, and I did some abs, and took off my shoes, because my shoes were hurting my feet. But, uh, sorry if the camera's shaky, I'm using my phone. Um, yeah, I just did, I just ran a little over four miles. And it felt pretty good. Right now I'm at 205. And I haven't ran for that long uh, since I was about 180. And when I was 160 to 170, somewhere around there, I ran 7 miles in an hour. In about an hour and 10 minutes. So, compared to my old self, I mean, obviously it's terrible, but I'm getting there. I mean, I still think it's pretty good for being over 200. Um, yeah, and it's really hot out. I chose the wrong time of day to do this, but I feel really good. Also, uh, proper running technique is a thing. It is definitely a thing. I think I probably could have ran faster when I was smaller if I would have been running correctly with the proper, I don't know, stance, what do you want to call it? <laughs> uh, but they're making sure your arms are going in the right direction and not going side to side. Apparently it's a big thing with females, do that a lot. I didn't think I actually did it until I was consciously making an effort to swing my arms the right way and then I realized that I've been doing it the wrong way this whole time. And it, it, it makes a big difference. For sure, with your momentum, yeah, it helps a lot. I feel like just making sure your arms are doing what they're supposed to do when you're running can be the difference between like holding yourself back and being able to maintain like a run, not necessarily a fast run, but you know, like a jog, like being able to go for longer distances. Also consciously uh, making sure that I'm using my entire foot and not just the ball of my foot. You know, uh, landing down like this instead of just on the ball makes a big difference in shin splints and calf cramps. Just, you know, from what I experienced just now. Uh, but yeah, I feel great. I thought that Today was Tuesday, so I was like, oh, I'm going to go for a run. I'm going to try to get to five miles. And then on my way back, when I was about mile three, I realized that today is not Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, and I have boxing tonight. So I guess I'm going to turn around in about six hours and kick my ass again all over. All over again. But yeah, um, I got really bad blisters. Not really bad, but I got blisters on my feet from the shoes that I have. I don't have proper running shoes for my feet. And, uh, I don't know who that is. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted kind of like a, it's like a fitness vlog type thing, mostly for myself. I've been wanting to do one for a while, but it's really, it feels kind of exposing, you know, when you're out of shape or you're heavier, if you don't like the skin you're in, and then documenting that and then putting it, you know, for anyone to watch. It's kind of like, uh, very vulnerable feeling. <laughs> oh, my contact. But, yeah, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to do it. And fuck anybody who has an opinion 
about that because I'm better at myself and that's all that matters, right? <laughs> My point of all this is that if I can do it, you can do it, you know? If anybody out there is watching this, if any of my friends are watching this, the ones who want to get in shape, or anybody who just doesn't really, not motivated, anything like that, like, it's all about your mindset, right? It's all about your mental toughness. I've been trying to work on my mental toughness because I'm not mentally tough. <laughs> Not when it comes to being uncomfortable. I'm not mentally tough at all. So pain in working out or in training, any sort of uncomfortableness, muscle cramps, muscle tiredness, uh, tense, you know, any of that. It's hard for me to get past it, but I'm trying to really focus on that because that makes a difference between, you know, like working out and training between maintaining and bettering yourself. You have to get past the uncomfortable parts. Not just, not just physically really, you know, it's not just about um, working out, it's also about diet, right? So, mental toughness could be about that too. You know, if you're, uh, you really don't like a diet, but it works for you, you know, you don't like, I don't like eating chicken and rice every day, but it works for me and mental toughness helps you get over that you know instead of being like oh, but I really want tacos going straight to well you know I want this I want to be able to achieve this with my body so I need to just get over myself very much yeah mental toughness it's something I lack <laughs> especially well, in every aspect of it, I don't like, I don't like being uncomfortable, I don't like not having the food that I like, <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, it's all part of it, right? It's what makes the, the reward, the end game, that much more satisfying, right, is your journey. So, in essence, your, your journey is kind of your reward, because you know how much effort, how much time, and all that, how much sacrifice that you've put into being where you are. And no one else really knows. No one else, except for maybe the people closest to you, really knows what you've put into your work to get yourself where you want to be, no matter what it is. For me personally, I want to be able to compete as a boxer you know maybe not necessarily pro I mean obviously that's anybody's dream but I'm trying to stay small here you know just one amateur one amateur boxing match would be good enough for me for now but I gotta get on that level and I'm clearly not now not at all not in any aspect but that's it's the beauty of it though being very self-aware and just enjoying the journey, you know, enjoying the pain, enjoying the fact that you're nowhere near where you want to be, but that you will be there someday, and that your discipline, your self-discipline in every aspect of the weight loss or the muscle gain or the fitness in general, that's going to... I don't know, it'll pay off, you know, it'll pay off more than just having it overnight or just having a natural fast metabolism or just growing up fit and always being fit and not really having to go really far to get better results, you know. It's cool, I guess, in that way, being optimistic about it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, ran four miles, a little over four miles. And I'm really happy about that. I'm really excited that I did that. You know, little little win for me. And there's a nice breeze going on, so my sweat has dried. 
in the process of making this little video here, so that's nice. Yeah. I guess this is vlog number one. See you guys next time I decide to talk about fitness. <laughs> Bye.